Welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, happy Tuesday and happy podcast day to you. Welcome to the show if you are brand new. And of course, if you're an existing listener and or viewer, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, a few things before we get into uh, the main topic for today's conversation. Number one, there's a lot of background noise in the neighborhood today. I mean, it's that time of year where at least one neighbor is mowing their lawn, you know, on any given day. So you're going to hear some landscaping noise. Also, uh, I have a neighbor of mine who's working on his car right now. He's rebuilding a classic car. So you might hear, you know, mechanic noises in the background. I'll do my best to edit as much of that out as I can um, if it's too bothersome. But otherwise, I, I appreciate your understanding in the situation. Can't control, you know, can't control, 100% control the environment. Um, the other thing I wanted to uh, kind of um, uh, administrative news is that we are now available on YouTube as a podcast, as a podcast. So um, some of you might know or have seen some changes with Google Podcasts that, you know, this, it's no longer available uh, as a platform to listen uh, to listen to podcasts on. Uh, now what they've done is they've converted everything from Google pa- Podcasts and you can upload um, or, or uh, connect your RSS feed to YouTube directly. So now on the YouTube, on, on our channel here, uh, if you're watching the video version, we have both the video, which has always been available, but now the RSS and the audio version uh, are, is available on YouTube. So again, for those of you who used to listen to uh, the show on Google Podcast, you can now listen to it on YouTube Podcast. That's kind of the replacement. Um, so, okay all of that out of the way. I want to talk about network marketing versus affiliate sales versus affiliate sales. Now, I have been of the philosophy and mindset that we should be proud to call ourselves network marketing, despite the fact that it does have a bad name, despite the stigmas that are attached to that particular label. Uh, I think, uh, well, I've said in the past that to try to continually change our name and call ourselves something else, w- while also maintaining the same behaviors and doing the same things in terms of how we build our business it's just yeah i mean it doesn't solve anything so i i had preferred to keep the name network marketing and try to change the perception uh, of network marketing with how i do business yeah okay so uh, i you know it's gotten me to thinking is this an uphill battle right because i can't control what other network marketers do and how how they build their businesses is this is this a losing battle that I'm fighting to try to get people to accept network marketing as a legitimate business? Again, it has nothing to do with the business model itself, but how people practice it that creates the stigma, that creates the that bad taste in people's mouths. Uh, yeah, I mean, as much as possible, I, I would have wanted to continue calling myself a network marketer and calling the business network marketing. However, it, the the perception of Uh, that's attached to network marketing has just progressively gotten worse and worse over the last five to ten years. Uh, So I had a friend, I have a friend of mine, a colleague, who suggested we call ourselves affiliate marketers. And that got me to thinking, like, okay, so I understand that affiliate marketers as uh, a term, as a phrase, um, is much more broadly accepted. It, it has, it doesn't have the negative connotations, um, and, and, you know, the negative meanings that people might ascribe to it, like, like network marketing or MLM. So maybe we could, maybe we could. My only thing was previously was that, do we actually qualify um, to call ourselves uh, affiliate marketers, right? By definition, is what we do affiliate marketing? And you know, it might sound like semantics, but that's kind of what this podcast is all about, right? It's called, it's about definitions. And and so I started thinking about it and and examining the network marketing business model, um, whether or not, at least in my book, it qualifies as affiliate marketing. Now, at the, at the root of it, yeah, I mean, I guess it could, given that we have the ability to partner up with a company and uh, promote and sell their products, right? Um, even if, even if uh, you know, the customer compensation plan or the customer bonuses weren't built in the compensa- compensation plan, all network marketing companies and direct sales companies, have you have the ability to directly retail um, the, the products or services, right? You can acquire uh, retail customers and you can make money doing that way. Unfortunately, historically, it would take hundreds of customers every month uh, to make any kind of serious income um, with that particular model in, within the network marketing and, and direct sales um, uh, industry, right? Back then, that, that would be 
really, really difficult to do, especially given that we didn't necessarily have the tools that we have today with the internet and with social media. Fast forward to, to current times, I think that's definitely a lot more doable, especially with digital marketing. If you're using social media platforms to promote and, and to, to sell uh, products and, and, and create customer retail, um, then you can very much do a couple of hundred new customers every month and, and make a decent income via direct sales and, and network marketing. In that sense, yes, we could, we could call it affiliate marketing. Um, the other aspect of it, at least for my particular company, and not all companies are like this, um, but, but I know companies are starting to get wise to this fact, but uh, one of the reasons why we really couldn't be, or I, I feel like we, we couldn't call ourselves affiliate marketers was because the focus, on, um, the focus to build our business was getting other business builders, right? It was recruiting, it was headhunting, and building, building downlines. That's why multi-level was, uh, was a more accurate term. That's why network marketing was a more accurate term. So you can't really call downline building and, and building teams and recruiting affiliate marketing. It's, it's network marketing, it's multi-level um, because Again, the you know historically our compensation plans um, only allowed for overrides when you build a team, right? Like the the, the bigger your team, the bigger your downline, um, the the higher you can qualify for for whatever level of commission. Um, there was no real customer commission baked into the comp plans. Some companies, like my own, now have uh, now have a preferred customer aspect of our compensation plan. So above and beyond the retailing. We in my company are able to acquire preferred customers who have the added benefit of getting wholesale pricing for the products as opposed to uh, as opposed to the retail price, and and they get the uh, the added benefit of of you know having having their products uh, or services on subscription, right? So it's that that monthly auto ship. So we actually can get paid just for customers and we can, you know, like if you acquire uh, enough preferred customers over time, you're getting not only their initial sales uh, in terms of the, the commission, but you're also getting that, that residual income every time they make a new purchase. So that also in a sense, I think can qualify as, uh, as affiliate sales. And actually that is a very good uh, model. Uh, it's a very forward model for affiliate sales because not only do you get that initial sale, you get, the, you get, you get a commission on the recurring buys. At least that's how it is for my company. Um, and if you have any more questions about my company, message me um, uh, here on the YouTube and, um, and yeah, we'll communicate and I'll, I'll share you more information. So, you know, in that sense, yeah, yeah, I can see, I can see how we qualify, especially with, with that second half, um, how we can qualify for, uh, qualify ourselves as, uh, as affiliate marketers, as affiliate marketers. I, I would not have said the same thing um, five years ago because the conditions were different and, you know, my company specifically, but I think most companies didn't have the ability to to get paid on acquiring acquiring their customers outside of uh, you know straight retail. Um, I don't know. I, I'm still I'm still kind of uh, the jury's still kind of uh, out uh, on this uh, topic for me as far as like making that adjustment to calling myself an an, uh, an affiliate marketer, uh, even though I am an affiliate marketer in other sense outside of my network marketing business. Um, doing what I do within the network marketing landscape. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, is it is? It, I think it's it's um, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, at least to make the adjustment to be to calling myself uh, an affiliate marketer and calling the profession an affiliate marketer as it adjusts to to what's happening in the marketplace as it's evolving. Again, one of the biggest issues then becomes well, how are other uh, marketers? behaving in the marketplace how are they building uh, building their business and is that then going to create a negative stigma with the title affiliate marketing right so we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens um yeah just yeah just one of those things that that time uh, time will tell right time will tell but for now i i'm i'm starting to lean towards uh you know the the title and the name affiliate marketer and uh, i might start adjusting you know my my well, yeah, just what I call myself and what I do, right? <laughs> so I don't know. Hopefully that that uh, that uh, shed some some light, some some pers perspective on the topic. Let me know what you think, especially if you're watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, as far as like the differences between the two and whether or not we should start calling ourselves network marketing, whether or not we can qualify to call ourselves uh, not network marketing, excuse me, uh, affiliate marketing, um, uh, and and whether or not we even we even qualify to to, to call ourselves affiliate marketers. 
Um, I'd love to hear your opinion. So leave that in the comment section below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. More videos to come. Make sure to like this one and catch the archives. Again, the video archives are here. And now the audio version of the podcast is available on YouTube podcast. So you can listen to that. Excuse me. <coughs> Frog in the throat. Okay, what I was saying was you can listen to the, the audio version of this podcast here at YouTube Podcast um, without having to watch the video. So I'm going to go before I get even more choked up. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in, uh, yeah, on Thursday with a fresh new one. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.